Hey everyone, Hobby Zai here. Today I'm going to show you guys the first couple steps in setting up your GHL Proflux 4 uh, aquarium controller. Uh, we're going to go over a couple things. Uh, first thing is how to connect the controller to your computer. Second is how to connect the controller to Wi-Fi. And third is how to connect the controller to the cloud so that you can access it anywhere. And then lastly, I'll show you guys how to connect the power bar to the controller. Um, and if you have more than one power bar, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, before we get started with the actual setup, let's make sure we have uh, all the equipment that we need. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a laptop or a computer. You want to make sure you have your Proflux 4, power supply, and uh, USB cable that comes with. And that you also want to make sure you have your power bar and one PAB cable per power bar. Um, okay, so let's just start. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have power ready to your controller. And we'll let that power up. Then you want to make sure that you connect the USB cable to the controller and then to the computer. And uh, this color might be different depending on um, when you set it up. Like this, it's not the first time I've set this up, so to me it's blue, uh, but it might be red to you. Um, and it doesn't mean anything other than that uh, maybe your sensors aren't all plugged in. Okay, let's see. Okay, you want to make sure that you have the GHL Control Center installed. You can find this on their website. We're going to go over here to Administrator. And we're going to set up a new connection. As you can see here, I already have a couple of connections, but we're going to do a new one. So go to your Device Manager. And you can see here under Ports, if let's open this up, you can see COM3. Uh, you'll need to know what that number is on the back in order to connect to your uh, Proflux. So let's make a new connection here. Select Proflux. Here we go. COM3. Um, you can leave that the way it was. Um, and we're doing a USB connection here. Device address 1. Um, let's go ahead and change the name. Here we go. And um, yeah, we can leave everything else the way it is. Save that. So now we can click that, select that one, and as you see now on the bottom here, you'll have a new Proflux 4 USB connection. So let's go ahead and connect to that. And I have a pin here. Um, you can set up your own pin once you've got this fired up. Um, you can find that up here in the Extras tab. There's a pin. You can click here, and you can set up your own uh, pin for that. Okay, let's see. So let's start, go ahead and set up how to connect to Wi-Fi. So this is just a general interface. You want to go to System and open that one up and go to Communication. And here, as you can see here, I've already kind of set mine up. But you want to make sure that the client uh, Wi-Fi modus is selected. Um, this is what we'll be using. And in here, you can type in your Wi-Fi name, your encryption type, and then your password to your Wi-Fi. Now, you have two options down here. You can either obtain IP automatically or use your own settings. Normally, I do my own settings, but for this video, let's just go ahead and obtain IP uh, automatically. Um, that's going to show up down here, uh, whatever the Prophylux decides to pick, and it'll just pick one an address that's open essentially, and in this case that's that's 63. Another really useful setting with the Proflux 4 is this thing called Access Point. Uh, here I have admin and password as the settings, but uh, by default that should be admin and starfish uh, on a brand new controller. Um, basically you can set up your controller as a Wi-Fi access point, so even when your Wi-Fi is uh, down or internet is out, you can connect to your um, 
Proflux 4 wirelessly by checking this access point option. Basically, you can pick your own SSID here and set up your own Wi-Fi key. So it basically works just like a Wi-Fi. Um, and then you can connect to the IP address and type in admin and the password, which would be Starfish by default. Um, super useful setting. Uh, today, I'm just going to go ahead and do the client option. Um, but if you wanted to do your own settings, uh, I would recommend using the client and access point setting. Let's go ahead and save these changes and disconnect here. Now we should be able to open that back up. And this is just to verify that the, you know, the settings were all saved. Let's go to communication one more time. Uh, current IP address. This should update any second. There you go. So that's the IP address that you want to type in for your um, Wi-Fi connection, essentially. Um, and again, let's use admin and password for this unless you know you've changed the default on your router. Let's go ahead and disconnect here. Yeah, just remember that IP. So now let's go back to administrator and let's set up a new connection. Um, but this time we'll select IP or network. Uh, let's do Wi-Fi connection. And instead of search automatically, let's go ahead and uncheck that and type in the IP address that we've selected. And for port, let's just use uh, 10,001. You can, you can use almost anything as long as it's not taken. Let's make this 10 seconds here so that we're giving it a slightly longer time to connect. Okay, so now you can see on the bottom here, you have a new tab, Wi-Fi connection tab. Let's go ahead and restart the program just to make sure the connections are all saved. There we go, Wi-Fi connection. Now we can go ahead and connect to that. And it should prompt me for my pin. There we go. Type in my pin. And now, we're connected to the Proflex through the Wi-Fi connection. So exact same interface. We can go back to systems. And now um, you can see same IP. Now we're under Wi-Fi connection. Um, and admin password. Yep. Everything is the same. Now we're going to go ahead and set up the MyGHL, which is the cloud service. So you want to make sure that you check that box. Um, this will let you, you know, see the values of your GHL, like when you're you're away as well as uh, change any settings when you're away. So let's have that checked. Let's go ahead and go to the website. If you go to myghl.com, let's get rid of this last bit. If you go and log in. Okay, type in my email address here, hide it for you guys so you don't spam me. And then um, my password. Okay, so once you're all logged in, you can go ahead and click Add Device. You see, there's no devices right now. I went ahead and deleted mine. Um, you can go ahead and type in the ID. Uh, you can see the ID number up there on the on the left there. Go ahead and type that in. Go next. So now it should you should it should populate a security key right here. You can go ahead and type that security key into uh, this box. Go ahead and type that in. Go ahead and click Next. So now the device has been added and it should show up here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to hide all this later in post, but there we go. You can go and change the name of the device to, let's just call it Proflux uh, My GHL. You can go save that. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh the browser. And we should now be able to connect to it. So now we're actually connected to it through the cloud. And as you can see here, um, you can see your dosing pumps through this. This is all really neat. And you can, for example, see all your plugs and switches, how much power they're using. And uh, yeah, it's basically the exact same controls as when you're 
on your own Wi-Fi network, but now it's all accessible over the cloud, so you can control this um, everywhere. Super handy. Okay, now let's configure our power bars. You can now go ahead and connect your first power bar to power, and then take uh, a PAB cable and connect it in one of the slots on your power bar, doesn't matter which one, and then you can connect it to the end of your uh, Profilux. And there's two ports uh, by default, so you can pick either one. Now you can take your uh, other power bar, and this, you can repeat this however many times you need to, and connect that to power. Then take another PAB cable and connect it to the power bar, new power bar. And you can take the other end and connect that to your um, old power bar, the one that we've already connected. Now we can continue the part of this setup. So go ahead and go to your system settings um, or your uh, Profilux. Click that and let's go ahead and assign devices. So you can see here, I've already connected mine, but go ahead and check the two boxes or whatever boxes are linked to your power bars and click OK. It's going to prompt you to, to restart. Uh, go ahead and say yes. Um, and then you can just log back in uh, to the Profilux again. So once you've logged back in, go back to the settings here and you can click any one of these power bars now that have been added. Um, and you can go ahead and uh, don't click system reset, go ahead and click configuration on any one of these and it will let you tell the Profilux what um, number each one of these are um, these switches are configured to. By default they're all one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have more than one, you want to make sure to change the number um, to um, you know seven through twelve so that you can um, you can control them uh, separately. As you can see here, switch channels, I already have mine connected. I have 12 different ones. Uh, and you can see what I'm running, you can see the power and I've, you can put your own descriptions as to what equipment is running on it and you can see how long it's been running. There's also a whole bunch of other really cool features about these power bars like programming and scheduling um, but I think we'll cover that in another video. Anyways that's it for today. I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe so that you can catch the next video where I'll show you the physical install and how it's all running the tank. Peace.